In this tutorial, I will discuss about the move tool in Photoshop 2021. Ok, let's start this tutorial. The move tool is used to select a layer and move it by dragging the cursor point. The move tool is located right here in the tools menu. And the shortcut of the move tool is V. If you are using another tool and now you need to use the move tool, just press V to select the move tool. Let's try to move this image. See? I can't because the layer is locked. When I unlocked it, I am able to move this image. I am taking this image in a new document. If you press Alter, you are able to duplicate the layers that you are using here. If you are starting to move it and you press Shift, it will be moved in a straight line like vertical, horizontal or diagonal. You will notice, I am only able to move this up and down or I am only able to move it horizontally or I am only able to move it diagonal. The other thing that you could do with the move tool is, I told you shift move an element in a straight line if you first mouse click. However, if you press shift first and hold it then you click, you can actually select multiple layers at once. So. Notice in my layers petals because I was holding down shift, I could click multiple layers at once. If you right click and let's say you have multiple layers on top of each other, so here you go 3 layers on top of each other. If I right click, I can choose which one of these layers. I want to move now going up in the option bar. The auto select checkbox is very important. If it's unselected, you will only move the layer that is already selected. But if you check the auto select box, so now it's selected. It will automatically jump to the layer that you want it to be on. If you have some group of layers, you can move the group by changing this option layer to group. If this option is still layers, it will select just one layer and move it. Here you can see alignment option in the option bar. It will help us to change the exact position. If you hover on the aligner option, it will show you exactly what it is aligned. Select two or more layer and click align left. It will take the selected layer to the left position. If you have three or more selected, so here you go, you'll notice that these are highlighted. Now this will align things. So they all center up. This will align play with them. They are great, you can make it. So it aligns evenly, it's just different way of distributing things right there. The one last thing that you can do with the move tool, you will notice in the dialog, 3D mode. Now the 3D options are disabled. So if I go over to 3D, say new mesh from layer postcard, it will automatically jump to various 3D options and now you notice that all the 3D modes are up here. So I can do things such as rotate it around. If I were to move this, I could rotate it moving around in 3D space. You can just do all short of things with 3D right here. But that gets a little bit more involved with all the 3D options for now. That's really more than enough with the move tool. Notice that if I select this layer, we immediately jump back into 3D mode. And I really need to go into the layer panel to get back into the normal mode again. You can see another checkbox in the option bar, which is show transform controls. If it's selected, you can resize the selected layer. That's all for today. In the next tutorial, I'll discuss about the marquee tool in Photoshop 2021. So please watch the next tutorial. I hope this video will help you. If you also think that please hit the like button and comment on how you like the video and share this video with your friends.